Hello and welcome to the Ramrod channel. This is Knife Pro commentating. For our very first video, we decided to play a custom game with our team. This way we could include everyone in the video and use this video as practice to make sure our setup is ready. Before I get into the gameplay, I would like to ask you guys to please subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all of our new videos. I also would appreciate it if you guys hit the like button below to help show your support. We need 15 likes before we post our next video, so hit that button below. We also would like to hear any of your suggestions or feedback, so go ahead and comment on the video. Someone on Team Ramrod will reply to your comments. Keep in mind, the Ramrod channel is a collaboration channel with all of our team. You'll see videos posted from all of us, and we all share the YouTube channel. Moving on, we'll go ahead and go into the game. So for this game, it's Red Orca and I versus Dominguez and Tryhard. Both teams are going to be Andrews Brut this game on the docks. Now, Tryhard mainly plays Arbiter, but he decided he wanted to start working on his Brute and that this would be a fun opportunity to have some Brute mirrors. And this game is a lot of fun. Dominguez and Tryhard are very good players, and Red Orca has really gotten good too. So, they're really fun games to play. When I was recording this, we played about three games on the docks, and all of them were Andrew's Brute. And mainly the recordings were used to make sure that my stuff is all set up because. I was having a few troubles, like stuff wasn't saving, or um, the video had an error, just all kinds of stuff was going wrong. So we mainly use these custom games as practice, because one thing you want to know is when you go online and you get that good game you want to record, you want to make sure it actually saves, you know, and you want to make sure the video actually is recorded properly. So this was mainly used as practice, because in a custom game it doesn't really matter, and is a good way to just test your stuff out. But I'll go ahead and start talking about what's going on in the game. Just a second ago, I rammed Dominguez's hog to death with Red Orca, and that really gave us a big hog lead. I know it just is one hog, but that one hog really makes a difference, because in an Andrews Mirror, you always want to try and out-hog the other player. You want to like do your best to have your numbers, and it really does make a huge difference as the game goes on. Right here, Red Orca is going on offense to their brute's base, and we notice that Tryhard's walking up the middle. We mainly need to make sure that he's coming up the middle so we know when to unlock and we know that we have a lead. And right now we have a big lead, so we're just watching for his chieftain. So I'm coming up here to look for his chieftain and realize that he's not up here. So he must be turning around, he's playing defense now. So I stopped Red Orca from porting her stuff through right there. So now that they're playing defense, I told Red Orca to just stack. Because we're not really sure, you know, you don't want to unlock all your birds and get them all killed and then they come on offense or something. So right now we're trying to stay strong and right here I run into his hogs and almost lost that black bar, but I barely got away. So right now I'm falling back because they got defender's advantage and I got a weak hog. So I want to keep my numbers strong. So my whole goal of this game is to keep my hogs alive the best I can and just get good numbers up. The red orc is falling back up to the middle. And we're going to try and get middle control. And what I mean by middle control is we're going to put our brutes on the hooks and stuff and just fight off their hogs and just play defense up here. Just control the map. Because if you have the center under control, then the enemy can't push on you. So right here, Red Orca is trying her best to put her brutes into the hook. This way the hogs can't come in here. Because honestly, if you've ever had gunner hogs and you try fighting those, <laughs> those brutes on the hooks, it's... It's not going to go your way at all. Right here, Red Orca tries beating Tryhard to the hook, and she gets in. So right here, we got we got hook control, and I'm going for station. So right here, it's getting pretty interesting because we're playing it kind of different. It's not a, a base attack type of game. We're just both just uh, holding the zone. And the thing is, if you have control of the middle, you just you control all the pushes. You know, like you see them coming. You're able to defend and just defender's advantage is really, really, really good. So Red Orca and Tryhard are close to equal, but Tryhard's actually a little bit ahead. 
because Red Orca went Temple first and he went Temple second. So as you can see, he has like three upgraded pads right now. So Orca's a little bit behind eco-wise, but she still has her summits coming up right now. Now I'm going to go ahead and scout Tryhard right here and see what he's on. So right here I notice he has his second summit building, but it's not going up yet. That means his first summit's not finished yet. So it's really not too bad right now. So his first summit's probably about halfway done. He has four upgraded pads. Orca just now probably has four upgraded pads and her summit's coming up. So really they're not too... They're, they're really not too far away from each other. They're about the same. And Dominguez and I are also about the same, except for I think I have like a two hog lead on him right now. So I haven't lost a hog this game and he's lost two. And that really does add up as the game goes on. So right now, Jory and I are both going to be working towards getting an expo up as Anders. And that one hog I sent up to scout, I'm going to try and get it back to myself. I'm going to try and get it back safely to my uh, group of hogs. I'm going to work on clearing this next base. For this part of the video, while I'm clearing expos, I speed it up a little bit. That way... You guys don't have to see the long process of clearing the base and everything, but right now I'm just gathering my hogs together, splitting up my red bars, and I'm just going to come over here and kill this base real quick. These turrets are really annoying, so I actually went for the turrets while Dominguez is clearing his base at the same time, and he already killed his because he just mained. So they do have an expo lead right now because his base is already cleared and he probably already has the rebels cleared also. So he has a little bit of a lead. But right now, I'm um, just trying to keep my hogs alive. I'm trying not to lose any hogs. And uh, I just queued up reserves. My base is cleared. And Red Orca, she's going to go over there and send her chieftain in to uh, try and slow them down from clearing their expos. Just try and give us a little bit of a lead. Because we've already got a two hog lead. And she's just going to go over there and try and make it a three hog lead. So right there, she killed a hog. And she's just you know messing up his numbers so now he lost another hog so he's lost about four hogs this game and I've lost none so it really does make a difference as the game goes on so I still haven't lost a hog I have my base is cleared and it looks like Tryhard has a lot of banshees and so does Red Orca they have probably about the same amount of banshees if he doesn't he might have a couple more but um, right now I have hog lead and they have close to the same amount of banshees. So so far the game's in our favor. But right now I'm just trying to defend my expo because I'm worried about banshees coming over and I'm saving this money for Red Orca's chieftain because it's really important that I let her get some money. It'll help her banshee pump because after like four creed pads double pump it does do a good job but after a while your money's gonna start getting pretty bad so picking up any supplies will help her so I'm saving all this for her. And we also have the brutes in the middle of the map. And those brutes are mainly going to help us from knowing when they're going to push on us. So really it does add a huge advantage to our side. Because every time they try and push we can immediately counter. Like we can go over there and stop them and push on them and stuff like that. And right here their banshees come over and see my expo. I get a couple shots down. And Red Orc is trying to keep an eye on them. But right now their goal is to stop us from getting a fourth base. So their Banshees are going to keep coming in and, and scouting that 4th base. Dominguez probably already has his 4th base, but I wanted to know for sure. So I had Red Orca go over and scout with the Banshee. This way we kind of know what we're looking at and can prepare what we're going to do this game. And yes, he does have the base. And it looks like they're going for a push right now, so they're coming up the middle. And I told Red Orca to get her Banshees over my Goss. So we are having a Banshee Goss fight right now. And it looks like Tryhard has a few more Banshees than Red Orca and has a Banshee lead. But we do have a Hog lead. So it's just going to have to see, you know, it, this can go either way. It's just a matter of if your Goss hit the Banshees or hit the Hogs, you know. So right here it's a pretty bad fight for me. I'm, I'm losing a lot of Hogs because of those Banshees. And Red Orca is losing a lot of Banshees also. And they also have a chieftain up here, making make it to where I don't hit cleanly with my shots. So it is, it is a pretty tough battle right here. I'm actually losing this fight, so I have to fall back to my base because they got so many banshees. So I tell Red Orca to fall back to my base because 
we're losing this fight. So she comes over to my base and I have all my units ready here stacked and we start fighting them and they realize that they can't really push because I have too much stuff. So they're falling back and just mainly their goal is to make sure we don't get a fourth base up. So right now they're on four bases and they're holding our fourth base. So they do have a bit of an advantage right here even though I have more hogs because they're quad pumping and I'm just triple pumping. So right here I tell Red Orca we need to push on their fourth base with all of our banshees because if she kills it while they're busy over here that's a really good advantage. So she goes over there and we're gonna see how many pads it has. So right now it has just one pad and the second one's almost done and she has a lot of banshees so she's gonna be able to kill that base real quick. But she's going to lose a lot of units in the process because they have so many goths over there already after rebuilding. So Red Orca goes around and she gets cryo bombed. So really this isn't very good for us because she just lost a shit ton of banshees. So I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, clogging up that middle because I know that they're gonna push very soon after knowing that they killed all of our air. So Orca's just gonna start rebuilding and I'm just gonna clog up the middle here. This way when they push, because I know that they're about to push soon because they just killed all of our banshees and they have a huge banshee presence in the game. So I'm just waiting for this moment for them to come over and push again. So right here I notice a few banshees are coming over to my base and right here, here's where the goss come in. So right here I'm going to just stop their goss from pushing. This is the control of the middle I'm talking about is you be able to see them coming and able to just clog it up. And just hogs can't do much when they can't drive. So I just, I obliterated his army right here, and now I'm going to come back and defend from the Banshees, because I'm not really sure where they're going, but I don't want us to lose any any buildings or anything. So after I killed their army, about now is a good time to, uh, to start getting ready to push on that fourth base, because I feel like they're going to have it again soon. But all these Banshees are on, on pursuit. So I'm not really ready to, to push just yet because they'll pretty much do what we did to them. Just send all their banshees to our base. So I gotta be ready to kill a few before I push. So right here I get a couple shots off. And around now I decide I'm just gonna go for full pop and then I'll push. That way I have a lot of numbers, I have a lot of units. So I'm gonna go full pop, buy my fourth base and push. So I'm just stacking up all my units, getting them all gathered up. Right here I'm rallying my units and I'm telling Red Orca to be over here too. So I just got full pop paid for and everything, it's all good, it, and I almost have all my hogs out and I go ahead and take my next base. I tell her to relocate her brute into the middle hook. So this is something that's very important, is make sure all your units are gathered up before you go. You don't want to send in one hog at a time. That's the worst thing you could do. <laughs> I have a few red bars in the front, but I don't have any time to waste micring them around. Right here I'm going to drop a cryo bomb. I'm going to drop it in the front because I know that they're going to target my hogs. So right here I get a really nice cryo and I kill this base. This time the base is two pads and it's an amazing difference between one pad and two pads. Like this base is going to take way longer to die. But we got banshees and all of our goss on it. And uh, I'm going to lose a lot of hogs here but it was really worth it to just make sure that they don't get their base and I do have my base. So I'm just going to start building up on my base as I kill their units. So at this point I have a safe fourth base and I have a lot of hogs and we just lost most of our, most of our banshees but they lost most of theirs also. So really for the most part we're looking good at this point and we're winning. Uh, not much Dominguez can really do at this point because really they uh, they really disadvantaged the moment we had control over the middle but um, they still played it very good. Um, they are thinking about it after the game that after they got their fourth base they should have just defended and then just got more more of an eco than me and they probably would have been able to fight us off a lot easier instead of worrying about pushing and just had their banshee scout my expo but really th this was a good game but right here I push up and I see all their hogs are trying to buy the base again and this is about where the game's over but it was a very good game um, thanks for watching guys please subscribe hit the like button after 15 likes we'll post another video and comment. Um, have a great day.